Hello everyone, it's Tom Klishevitz with Smart Health Wellness and Performance, and this is another video for the Constructing the Mind of a Champion program. I have a question for you. Are you continuing to do the stuff that we talked about each and every day? Remember that to focus on your breath for a couple minutes to build that mindfulness piece, to write down your goal in your journal, and then write down something you did that day to move you closer to that goal. And the third piece is visualization. Are you closing your eyes and imagining yourself in very vivid detail performing your sport perfectly? If you are continuing to do that every day, fantastic. Congratulations, keep it up. If you aren't, start that again today. Tonight I want you to do that again and start to build that habit, doing it each and every day. Because it's that consistency of doing this each and every day that is really gonna help you to prepare your mind to perform at your best. I want to talk a little bit about the visualization piece today because that's something that a lot of athletes talk about that they use to help them perform at their peak levels. A good example of this is actually dealing with the no-hitter. Now, you may not know what a no-hitter is um, if, if you're not familiar with baseball, but essentially a no-hitter is an accomplishment that really is almost impossible. It's very, very difficult to do. Essentially what it is is one pitcher starts out at the beginning of the game and they go through nine straight innings doing hitting batter after batter me dealing with batter after batter and not one of those batters for the whole nine innings actually gets a hit against them just how difficult is this well let me explain this to you in 2017 there were about 5,000 major league baseball games played out of those 5,000 games how many games do you think were a no hitter the answer is one one out of 5,000 games was a no hitter Let's take 2016 then. In 2016, again, there were about 5,000 major league games that were played. How many of those were no-hitters? Again, just one. One out of 5,000. So out of 10,000 games played over two years, only two people were able to actually pitch a no-hitter. That's how difficult that is to accomplish. One of the individuals that actually did the, did the no-hitter was Jake Arrieta. He's a pitcher or was a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs, all right? He pitched actually a no-hitter in 2016, was the only one to do it in 2016. He actually pitched it on, on April 21st of 2016. What's even more amazing though, is less than one year before that, on August 30th, he also had a no-hitter. So in less than 12 months, he was actually responsible for two no-hitters. That's just an unbelievable accomplishment. I actually heard an interview with him on the radio once, and they asked him, you know, how, did you know you're gonna do that? How, you know, how, did, how did you get to be that good? And he talked about visualization and how he actually uses visualization to prepare himself and to see the ball being pitched and see exactly what happens and visualizing himself with each and every pitch before he actually pitches it. And he said how that is so important to him being able to be a major league pitch pitcher in the first place and be a great one and be able to actually pitch two no hitters in less than 12 months. I actually read an article too uh, where, they, where Jake had a few things that he talked about this visualization practice. In the article, he said, everybody here has the ability to throw a fastball down and away or a breaking ball in the dirt for a swing and a miss. But are we able to stay in that moment and understand what we're trying to accomplish and see it in our mind before we execute and then make the pitch? If you can see it before you execute, that only increases your chances for success. In the article, he also said, there's so many things running through your mind. If you can formulate a game plan that works for you and allows you to block outside distractions and get to what matters, that's how the talent is able to come out. Really being able to harness my mental approach has kind of taken me to the next level. And obviously maturing as a player and a teammate and as a person, those are the things that are necessary to achieve success in this game. There's no other way around it. So keep up your visualization practice so you can harness your mental approach to take your game to the next level in whatever sport it is you may be playing. That's all for today. This is Tom Klashevitz with Smart Health, Wellness and Performance wishing you success in all aspects of life.